Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off from last time. So remember, we want to go ahead and use our number one U gouge for going through and carving out the details that we made on our Japanese kimono. Now, go ahead and grab, once you have finished all those details, your number three. Your number three is what we're going to use to carve away the background because when we print these we definitely would like to see just our kimonos we don't want to see any part of the background so we're going to carve away the unnecessary parts around our kimono that we do not need again please make sure that your pointer finger is on the spot right before the blade so that you are guiding your tool as you are carving away from your block Remember that we also want to carve away from ourselves. So you can always rotate your block for the different areas. So for instance, I can rotate my block to carve away down the sleeve as well as rotate my block when I'm carving away at the top of my kimono. Once I have finished carving, oh my goodness, it's the fun part! We're gonna go ahead, we're going to grab our inks and our brayer. Our brayer is our tool that we actually roll over on top of our inks and then roll on to our beautiful rubber block, which is our Japanese kimonos. So I'm gonna go ahead here, I'm gonna grab a little plexiglass and that's what I'm going to put my ink on. Now I'm gonna be using two colors and what we're going to do is we're going to create a gradient, which is where you have one color that transitions into another color and you see also where they're two colors sort of blend with each other. So you're gonna set here, I'm using pink and blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going to roll out the inks. Now, here's the thing. You want the consistency, which means how it looks and how it feels to resemble a little bit more of a cat's tongue. So you can see here that, oof, it's pretty wet, isn't it? So I wanna make sure I don't have it super thick. I might go ahead and grab another plexiglass and roll it out on there instead. Ooh, so it's got a nice smooth finish, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brayer and roll it directly on to my rubber block. So you can see my rubber block has now been inked up and guess what? It's now time to go grab some paper and I have a couple different sheets here that I'm going to try and I can cut up some more later if I need to. So I'm going to put my paper on top of my block then I'm going to grab my baron again and I'm going to go all around the edges so that I can transfer my ink from my plate to my paper. gosh it's so beautiful but guess what I can also see that there's hmm, maybe a couple little spots where some of my background got inked up so guess what I can just go ahead grab my number three tool again and just carve away there so when I go to ink it up again and remember I want to ink it up in the same way that I just did before for my next sheet of paper this time I won't have those little spots I 
Again, repeat the process. We want to take our baron. We want to hold down onto our block as we are going around with our baron on our paper to transfer that ink from the block to our paper. Oh, these look so beautiful. So artists, I want you to keep going. Keep repeating this process. Ink up with your brayer. Take your paper, put it on your block. Use your baron to transfer that ink from your block to your paper. And I would say keep going until you have a good amount of options, color options. All right, friends, here we go. So I'm gonna take a look at mine. Hmm, let's see, which colors do I like? I'm gonna keep going. Ah, there we go. I think I like that. The yellow, the white, and the green. Fabulous. I can't wait to see what your Japanese kimonos look like. <laughs> 